Hey guys, welcome back to another Premiere Pro CC tutorial. I'm your host, Gilly Gill. Today we're gonna talk about a huge time saver, and that is animation presets. Right, so we've gone through how to create um, keyframing. Let's say we have a text layer, we wanna bring it on screen, and it's gonna hang out for a second, and then it needs to go away. We've gone over keyframing, before, if you haven't seen it before, we'll link the series down below. Make sure you watch that video so you have the understanding of how keyframing works. And now we're gonna show you how to save a whole lot of time so that you only have to do that once. Let's dive right in. Okay, so I have a new project and I only have one file in here which is my Keyboard Shortcuts Master Graphic. We're gonna create a white background and to do that, we'll go down to the new item and we're gonna choose a color mat. We're gonna keep all this the same, and I'm gonna choose white. Color mat's fine. Let's drag that onto our timeline and pull it out a bit so we've got something to work with. And then we're gonna take our keyboard shortcuts master. This is just a PNG graphic, and I'm gonna bring that onto the timeline, and I am going to stretch it out. So as you can see, it's just a static graphic. It's sitting there doing nothing. Now we're gonna keyframe an animation. So what we're gonna do is highlight the keyboard shortcuts master on our video timeline. Go to effect controls. We are going to start keyframing for position and scale, which we don't really have to do scale, but it's nice to have that checked just in case you wanna do it later. Let's set our first keyframe. We are going to take the Y value and drop it down below the screen. Hold shift and right arrow one, two, three times. Is that enough? I would hope. And we're gonna change that Y value and bring it up to right about the middle of the screen. Now we want it to stay there for a while, so let's leave it. Move the playhead forward quite a bit. We're gonna set a keyframe because we're not gonna change anything. It's gonna stay the same between this keyframe and that one, and we'll shift one, two, three, and now we're gonna drop it down below so it goes out of frame. If we play that back, it looks like this. Okay, now I'm gonna change the timing of this so that it happens a little bit quicker, a little bit quicker, and then let's do some easing on these. Ease into, ease out, ease out of this and ease into this one. And now it'll look like this. So a pretty basic animation and you can get as in-depth as you want to. So what we're gonna do now is we've, we've saved that animation, let's say we like it. All we have to do to make a preset is click on the motion bar where you can see it says motion. We're gonna right click that and we're gonna go save preset. Let's save this as Animation Preset Tutorial. Right below that we have some options for type. The scale will save this animation and it will apply to a clip even if you shrink it or make it longer. It's gonna scale that animation according to the duration of that clip. Or like it says here, you can anchor it to the end point or you can anchor it to the out point. So regardless how long the clip is, if you anchor it to the in or out point, it's gonna keep that original timing, but it will happen at the end or the beginning of the clip. And you can put a description in here, just type something clever and then uh, click OK. Let's stretch out our color mat, and we're gonna take this keyboard shortcuts PNG, and we're gonna drop it into the timeline again, just like we did before. I imagine this is another graphic, and we want it to do the same exact thing, right? So if we play back the graphic that we just animated, it comes onto screen, it hangs out, and then it goes away. We're gonna do the same thing for this one. So if we hit play, you'll see that it's, it's doing nothing. It just sits there. Uninteresting. We need to keyframe it again, but why waste time keyframing it again when we've already done that and we just created a preset? Here's how to apply it. To find that preset, we will go into our effects panel, and right here at the top is a folder called presets. And right here is the preset that we made just now, animation preset tutorial. All we have to do is click and drag that on top of our new graphic, and it will automatically apply those keyframes to the graphic. Comes on a scene, hangs out, and goes away. Perfect. That's exactly what we want and a huge time saver. That is a beautiful technique to use 
If you're doing something that happens a lot within your videos, let's say you're displaying some type of information, it's a little box that comes on screen and then goes away, all you have to do is create the animation one time, save the preset, and then you can just drag and drop that preset to all your other clips. Super cool, right? Let me know what you think in the comments. Is this gonna save you a whole lot of time? Did you already know how to do that? Chances are you didn't, and if you learned something new, you should smash that like button and subscribe with notifications on. That's all for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.